Welcome back, everyone. Here's something to think about next time you check your email. Chances are at least some of your messages are being tracked. This technology is being used by businesses and acquaintances to quietly watch your email habits, which sounds a little scary to me. The good news is there are some things you can do to protect yourself, and Lisa is here to walk us through them. Hey, Lisa, what is email tracking and why do people use it? Hey, Trace, you bring up such a great point, and especially in the new world that we're living in where we're working and learning from home, email has become really the most effective and widely used form of communication that we rely on. So much so that 269 billion emails are sent daily, which averages to about 35 emails per person around the world. Now, you're probably asking, what is email tracking and what does it look like? What it is, is it's a tiny little pixel that is embedded in an email. And so when you open that email and you're being tracked, what will happen is an image will load. So a photo, sometimes a link. And what that link or photo does is now it's tracking your behavior. Now, why is it used? Well, a lot of times they are used simply to find out, did you read the email? Did you receive it? Where are you? So sometimes it tracks your location as well. And then the biggest thing is it's tracking what you're interested in. So a lot of times advertisers, marketers, sales organizations, and these days the big tech companies, they want to know what you're looking at. I always say, Trace, we are data and data is cash and cash is king. So that really is the purpose of tracking emails. Now, another thing that you're going to find interesting is that the everyday person Sometimes your family, friends, your colleagues, they're tracking your emails as well. So it's important to know how to stop it or just get ahead of it. So regular folks can just be tracking your emails. Like how would they know how to do that? That they would have access to the software? Yeah, so really at the end of the day, getting email tracking is really easy. Anybody can use it, anybody can do it. But the thing about us is that we wanna know when we're being tracked. So with Gmail, what you can do is you can employ a software called either Ugly Email or Pixel Block. And with this, what it's going to do is every time you get an email, it's going to give you a little eyeball just to let you know this has a tracking image or that pixel embedded in the email. With Outlook and other email servers as well, you have Thunderbird available to you. There's many different email pixel blockers out there to notify you when you're being tracked. Okay, I'm going to be looking out for that now. Now, is there anything else we should be doing to figure out if our emails are being tracked or to protect our emails? You bet there is. It's all within our control. And this I always want to stress to our viewers. The first thing is you're going to add a couple of layers of bodyguards within your email. So if you're using Gmail, and that is the most widely used email server out there, what I want you to do is get real familiar with your settings. So under your settings, what you're going to see is there's going to be a little uh, spot there for images. It's going to give you two options. It's going to say either always display external images or ask before displaying external images. You want to click on ask before displaying external images. And once again, that's going to block those little pixels. Now in your actual hardware itself, once again, get to know your settings menu. Within the settings, you're going to go to mail. And within mail, you're going to go under messages. Within messages, you're going to click on, you're going to see load remote images. You want to make sure that that is disabled. Now, within your Android devices, once again, because that's connected to Gmail, it's easy just to access your settings under your Gmail and make sure that it doesn't auto load. Okay, now what about all those promo emails that clog up our inboxes? you'd be surprised to believe that nearly all of those promo images are tracking your behavior. So what I'm going to say is it's okay to receive those promo images, those promo emails, but make sure that you are unsubscribing to the ones that you're not interested in or you don't use. It's really simple guys. Just make sure that you're always sort of spring cleaning or quarterly cleaning those emails. Okay. That's a really good tip. And should we change our social media privacy settings on our on all of our social media platforms like I, I would imagine that that's pretty important as well right you bet we have heard and like i began the segment with the big tech companies are tracking 
our behavior. They want to know, once again, what we're interested in, who we're talking to, all of that wonderful stuff. But within your Facebook settings, this is Facebook I'm talking about. I want you, once again, to go into your email settings and notify yourself who has access to your email. Do you want them to have access to your email? And make sure that Facebook cannot track your behavior and link your behavior to other outside third parties as well. It's interesting because I think that all it takes is a little bit of vi vi vigilance on our end, but the laziness, right? Like I think to myself, oh my gosh, like all my business is out in the streets, but then I'm like, do I really want to go to my settings? Yes. And you're saying, yes, Tracy, you really want to go to your settings and make sure you have a block up because we are data and data is dollars. So thank you so much, Lisa. If we ever see a suspicious looking email, what do you think we should do? I always say, use your intuition. If it looks strange to you, do not open it. Do the antivirus sweep once a month as well, just to make sure that you're always guarded and you're always safe. Lisa, such great information. Thank you for that.